Yo, what's up guys? Brian here from Bang Out Volleyball. Today we're gonna be watching a video from Haikyuu and I'm thinking of starting over the series because I haven't really seen it in a very long time. This is probably gonna be the third time I've seen it. So when we watch it, I'm just gonna repost these videos and I kind of wanna do them over just to react to it better and work on the editing side of it and hopefully like things work out well and it's a little clearer on the content. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and like the video for the YouTube algorithm. Also, please leave a comment down below on what you think of this show. And also, I'll try to give you guys a shout out in one of our open gym videos in the future. Anyway, enjoy. Also, I finally got my Amazon affiliate link. Uh, so this is my new duffel bag for volleyball. It's a Canway. It's actually really cool. I can't really show you some videos. I don't know if I'll put some B-roll here, but... Uh, there's a pocket for your shoes. But anyway, it's a really good bag in my opinion when it comes to volleyball. I switched from my double strap-on bag to a single strap-on. I wanted to switch over back to a duffel bag. So if you guys want to check out all the gear that I use, my nutrition stuff and camera gear for my uh, channel, uh, link will be down in the description below. Anyway, all right, let's get right to the video and uh, enjoy. Also, one really cool thing, we're probably going to binge watch this all day. For the most part and uh yeah i finally got crunchyroll because all the shows are on crunchyroll now so yeah anyway enjoy the video again like it I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers we're not there yet oh well the goal is one mil in the future help me out here all right here we go we got them on the intro uh of them like standing on the end line Oh, now we're talking about the volleyball block. That was a triple block, too. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love that intro. I never really took the time to really read uh the i guess the the uh, like read the captions uh, i would mainly put it in english but now i'm just like everyone's telling me to watch it in uh japanese and just read it i'm just like it's actually so much better and it's definitely saying that volleyball is not a solo sport it's definitely a team sport and there's a lot of things that can go on with volleyball uh emotionally and uh physically when it comes to the sport so it's really important to make sure you're keeping good communication with everyone. But anyway, let's just, let's continue watching the show. I don't think there's a skip intro here. Uh, so I'm just going to have to fast forward this thing. Episode one. It looks like this is his first time watching volleyball out on the street. And he just gets that feeling of this this sport is amazing. And it is. It's kinda like if a new person that's never like watched volleyball goes into a game and watches like watches a volleyball game and sees how athletic you need to be to play it. It's just a, it's just an amazing feeling. And this is that feeling. He's only 190 centimeters. Barasano High School. Guys, if you guys can comment down below what 190 centimeters is in feet and inches, that would be great. I would look it up right now, but you know, we gotta watch this. I'll probably find out for the next video, if anything. Three years and three months later. Okay, so this is the part where it's his first volleyball tournament. Oh, this is the best feeling ever. <laughs> Where's like Air Salon Pass? This definitely reminds me of my first time going to the AM, the ASC, the American Sports Center, when I was in high school, and it was literally the same feeling. I don't know about the Air Salon Pass part, but like. It, it just felt really good to be at a place with lots of volleyball. Yeah, 
Dang, as helpers, not even teammates? Come on. He's calling them helpers, but it's his first time playing volleyball. <laughs> He's crying. Oh my gosh, they're playing in a tournament. They don't know how to play the sport. This is going to be so rough. Oh, this is when he meets... I forgot his name. What's his name? We're about to find out very soon. But he's probably just looking at him like, dude, that dude is walking in like he owns the place. Oh, they're a big boy team. Okay. The king. Kageyama. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's his name. He's an amazing setter. Oh, damn. Everyone's talking about him. Oh, snap. Oh, no. The nervous jitters, bro. That, that's important. That's It's important to have, like, experience in volleyball to compete at a high level so that you, don't, you can really work on that anxiety or that nervousness before a game. That's why experience is really important. You're just so used to it. That it doesn't really happen but this will definitely happen in your first tournament uh, especially because you're so excited and your body doesn't know what to prepare for oh they're talking smack about their team and the bathroom talks don't <laughs> underestimate us Dang. First tournament. And he's already talking smack with each other. The king is here. Oh, that's his team. Oh, damn. He's like definitely like a... Got like a stick up as you know what. Ne oh, he's saying never underestimate your opponent. Dang. And yeah, that's true. It, it, it's easy to like underestimate vol like other teams because you don't think they can perform well, but once you play them and you play down to their level, it ruins your flow as a team and uh, you just kind of don't make the best plays when you're playing against them. Dang, making him, making him known where his place is, man. That is true. So we know that Hinata can jump. We just don't know how well he can jump yet. The six of them. Usually, when you play volleyball, there's seven players because uh, you want to have that libero to help you guys out in an extra middle. <laughs> Dang, this thing is going to win them all, all the way up till nationals.
Big boy talk, man. Big boy talk. Dude, it's crazy because every time they're admiring Kageyama as a setter. Every time, like, you go to a tournament, you'll see people that actually stand out. Like, you'll see outsides who stand out, middles who really stand out, setters who everyone's talking about in the tournament. And then all of a sudden, you got everyone's eyes on you. And they're like, wow, that guy can actually do that, do this. And they're just, it's just that impressive. So if you notice a lot of people are, you know, eyeing someone, you pretty much have to keep an eye on them for the tournament so you know how they play and uh, adapt to their play style. Oh, they don't know the rules. They're talking about the setter. I forget the first like season is about building the characters and knowing where they're coming from. Uh, but right now, you can see that Kageyama's anger is already coming out to each of his uh, attackers. Telling him to come faster. He's just set he's probably just setting it way too fast. Yeah, that's very true. He's just becoming like a he's definitely like a selfish setter. Like there's only one way to set and like everyone should adjust to him. But it's got to be like there's got to be a win between both ways, you know. Also, if you guys didn't know, height doesn't really matter in volleyball. If you have that perspective, it really changes your uh, gameplay. Oh man, it's already 2-0. Off two aces. Inato's being so positive for his first tournament. I guess he, what he's trying to do could be like he's trying to make sure that everyone's having a great time even though they're losing and it's their first tournament. He's just super excited and just grateful for everyone there being there for him, with him. Oh, we got a little flashback here. Oh, no one signed up for his club, dude. Or for the volleyball club. Oh, man. Be a one man team. Oh, he's definitely very inspired by the little giant from Karasuna. But hey, volleyball is a team sport. You need a full team. Oh, this is him practicing with the. The girls volleyball club. It was pretty crazy. I actually practiced with the girls volleyball club since I couldn't play like actual club. Uh, so I would practice with our girls team and get some like extra setting reps throughout the season or throughout their season before my season started. And I had nothing else to do. So like I remember like in high school, I would just go, you know, I like if my se my season's in the spring and the girl season is in the in the fall. So once spring season is over, during summer, if the girls had practice, I would go help the coach and try to get my own reps, but make sure I'm still helping out. And then throughout their season, if they needed players, I would be on the court setting for them and helping out with the team. Uh, just, I mean, obviously it was for selfish reasons, but I had to be there for the team instead of like being there for myself. It was kind of like a win-win in both situations. Also, sorry. Also, I couldn't like, my parents couldn't afford club. We couldn't afford club at that time. So I didn't play club in high school. I just trying to go to open gym and playing as much volleyball as possible. Plus it's better than just staying home doing nothing all day. Oh, they got a pass. Finally, 5-0, but couldn't get the set going on. It's just too tight. saying he's on the girls volleyball team oh there's no boys so 
He is in the boys. He's just the only person on the team. Alright, I got a spam call. I've been getting... Guys, if you guys have been getting so many spam calls, just decline it. No need for that. Oh, he's trying to find a pepper partner, but he can't find someone or like someone to set him. Ah, uh, the old drills of hitting to the wall. Still a good drill. Oh, 9-0 right now, dude. And it's first set. Yo, do you think Kageyama feels bad because they can't get a point? Oh, he just got popped in the face. Haha, <laughs> it's like, since you hit me in the face, just set me. Oh. They got a pass. Oh, the good old arms hurt when you first pepper in the longest time. Or ever. I've only had that a couple times. I'm usually, like, not rusty because I'm always playing. But, you know, after the pandemic, when we finally went to open gym for indoor and I peppered for the first time, dude, my arms were so red and just throbbing and I just wasn't used to it. Because I've, I've been so used to playing with a beach ball for grass volleyball recently. So, I understand how this feels currently. Not right now, but, like... Recently. Wow, that was the that was the worst shank I've ever seen. And for him to just like go up and hit it, pretty wild. Oh, he got the set. Whoa. No one's expecting this. Oh. I thought he was gonna get a point. So anticlimactic, dude. That was I thought he was gonna get the point there. Looks so good. Damn the Kageyama looks, man. This part's pretty funny. I guess we're just gonna keep this so we don't have to edit this part out. I think he hits it this time, right? Oh yeah. It's always like a successful one the second time from what I remember. Ooh, OT right over the block. Second set, 21-7. They got a few points, which is good. Probably from mistakes though. Oh yeah, it's definitely from their mistakes. They just said it right now. Oh, he's looking at the block this time on where to go. Ooh, he still couldn't get it. That's rough. Yeah, he, he's got the physical ability for it, but he just doesn't have the, the experience. Akayama's getting mad for no reason right now. He has, he has such high expectations for himself and for the, his team. So serious. There's usually always going to be that one person, not always, but like there's going to be in your whole volleyball experience, there's going to be that one person that's just like having a terrible time and it just like brings other people down. So you want to make sure you keep their emotions in check and just kind of check in with them, seeing if they're okay right after the game or even during the game, but you know, give them time. Oh, he might get it. Dude, he's so focused. He's got like the laser cat eyes when he's really, it's like tunnel vision. Oh, he's thinking they're gonna get hurt. Damn. 
This is the look. This is the look everyone talks about. The game's not over yet, so you keep working hard. Oh my god, that's basically what he's saying. I'm just interpreting what I'm reading, guys. He got the pass, bro. Oh, let's go. Oh my god, a footstep from that. That's pretty wild. Banger. Come on! Oh my god, why are you walking? Oh my gosh. I would call that guy out. They earned a point, bro. Let's go! Oh, Kagama's pissed, dude. Nah, dude. You wreck them. Don't let them earn a point? What is this? Why are you holding back? You scored a genuine point. What a big compliment there. Come on. Oh, that's technically a double. Oh, yeah. See, that would technically be called a double. Oh, my gosh. I was not expecting that. No. Wait a second, he's going all the way from the oppo to the outside to block? That's pretty terrible. <laughs> I mean, like, it's unrealistic, but it's just kind of like, wow, I love anime. We had it. Oh my god, he's gonna get it. Oh my gosh. What a swing, dude. Okay, that landing was so unrealistic. Oh, it was out? I had a feeling it was out. Oh my gosh, dude. I had a feeling it was gonna be out. But like, this, that move was impressive. This guy overwhelms me. He's freaking out, man. He's freaking out. Dang. Because he's just that fast, bro. He's athletic. Dang. I think Kageyama like admires his physical abilities. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's an ego thing. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to watch. My first and last official match. Oh, that's his first and last. Dang, it's over for them. 31 minutes that is a short game i've seen go games go like 10 minutes oh it's king of the court style dang we got people rooting for the little guy i wonder who that team was they had the palm or like the the paw well we're, i didn't even realize that the first time i watched it so we're going to have to look forward to that in the future videos. Oh, they played a high level team. They're from like, they played nationals before. Dang. They're so inspiring right now. Oh, what's he doing? Ew, he doesn't even know his name. You're the king that rules the court. I have to defeat you. And I'll be the last one standing. Wow, so deep, dude. So deep. The team sport, bro. Can't do it alone, right? Is that what he's gonna say? Intense stare down. 
walks away. Oh, what a grateful kid, man. Thanking his teammates for playing with him. Even though they've never played volleyball before. I'm not crying. Lies, bro. All right, well, that was a good video. Uh, I'm kind of glad I'm watching it all over again so I can really take in uh, everything from the show from the first season. I uh, really didn't get into second season much last time. So anyway, if you guys are joining me on this journey, make sure to like the video and comment down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. And uh, yeah, check out the affiliate links in the description uh, if you guys want to get some of my gear. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.